Six, two schools are investigating a fight during a football game, which may have been involving some racial slurs. That brawl broke out on a field Friday night. But as WBZ's Paul Burton tells us, some players claim people were yelling the slurs throughout the game. A brawl breaks out at the end of a football game at Georgetown High School. Now school officials in Georgetown are looking into accusations that racial slurs were used during the Friday night football game versus Roxbury Prep High School. On Monday, Roxbury Prep Dean of Students and Head Football Coach says he was appalled at the behavior of the fans and players of Georgetown. Uh, multiple players came back to me stating that they were being called the N-word and had racial epithets thrown at them. What I'm hearing happened is that there were, throughout the game, times where there were allegations of the use of the N-word. The game was cut short because of the fight. Georgetown won the game 48-8. to Coach McGinnis says he spoke with referees about the racial comments during the game. He also says the team's bench was too close to the opposing fans. We're actually intermingled with our bench area. That's how close they were. There was no separation between fans, students, and players. So our students and staff did hear that from the student fan section um, and also from players on the field. The referees didn't hear anything, but Again, you know, we're just going to keep our minds open until we know all of the facts. At one point during the fight, one of the coaches at Roxbury Prep slammed one of Georgetown players to the ground. Our coaches were focused on separating the teams uh, and player safety. Uh, it was not done maliciously. It was pulling players apart from each other. School officials are still investigating the incident. They're asking for parents and students who may have more cell phone video, both of the fight and in the stands, to please share that video with administrators so they have a better understanding of what actually took place. And if it did happen on the field, I think the players on both sides need to own up to it and say, yeah, you know what, there were some things that... So I think whatever way this works out, there'll be an educational outcome. In Georgetown, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Paul, thank you. I want to give you a live look over.